Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a website with a content slider like this. A website that, um, a free website where you can post, have your content displayed in a slider known as a content or image slider. So what you want to do is log into the admin page of your website and go to dashboard. If you want to know how to um, set up your domain name uh, to start up with um, getting your website registered, please click on the link in my description. I already did a video on how to register your domain, uh, how to start um, your website by yourself. Uh, please click on the link and then watch the video before you watch this one if you're not familiar with how to get your website registered. So what you want to do is um, go to dashboard. I'm going to use a, a team called Mesocolor. It's a free team and it allows you to display your content in a slider. There are other teams as well that you can use to display your content, that have the content slider display in build. Um, it's the same process. Once you can find the content slider on the customize um, page, just follow the process I'm going to teach you now and you will be able to achieve the same thing. But right now I'm going to use the Meso column team to put it through. So what you want to do is click on team and um, search for the plugin called Meso column. I already have it installed. If you don't, click on add new and then search for Meso column. There it is. If you don't have it installed already, you're going to see an installed button here and then just click on it and it takes you to the page where you can activate it. But because I already have it installed, I'm just going to go to Teams again and then click on Activate. So I have I have it installed right now. Let's see what it looks like on the website. Yeah. So right now we can go ahead and then start posting. I'm going to start with the post because that way I can um, show you how to, to make the changes that you need to do. So I'm going to start with a post. Okay, um, let's say I want to say how to hide post. Um, the front page of the website. I'm just going to type whatever here because this is not really um, it's just a test website. It's not going to go live, so please don't mind what I'm typing. I'm just I just want to um demonstrate. Use it as a demonstration. Okay, insert into post. Type your contents. Okay, so um, scroll down and click on set feature image. The feature image is the image that appears beside the title of the post on your website before the, um, your visitors click on the post. They're going to see the featured image. So you have to set a featured image or your website is just going to appear, have no pictures, it's just going to have um text without pictures on the front page if you don't put the featured image. So you click on set featured image and click on publish. Now I'm going to go ahead and create categories for my posts because I want my posts to be separated into different categories. So I'll just quickly go ahead and create a category on the post. Category can be found under the post. Now let's say I have a category called Webmanics. And then I scroll down and click on Add New Category. I also want to have a category called Text Solutions. I scroll down and click Add New Category. Now I have my categories ready. I want to um, put my post in a category. So I'll go back to the post I had earlier and click on it. Then I'm going to uncheck on categorized and put it on with manics. 
update okay so uh, let me go to create another post Okay, so I'm going to add um, a picture. You should have a picture on your post or your content slider to display images. Please put that in mind. Not just text. And uh, it's also good for the ranking of your website for you to have pictures on your post. So, uh, I'm going to choose a category that I want, Tech Solution, and then go to Featured Image, and then click on it, Set Featured Image. Okay, Publish. Let's see what it, the website looks like right now. This is it's like. Okay, so this is the featured image if you click on it on the um on that particular post you're going to see the image in the body of the post so um i'm going to go back to the dashboard and with i want to create uh show you how to create this menu dashboard you go to appearance go to um appearance Click on menu and then click the menu you want. Say I want menu one and then click on create menu. And what I want to show on my menu are my categories. I click on the categories I want on menu and then I click on add to menu and then I click on I want the menu to show on the top page. I click on top menu. And I click on save menu. So there I have my menu right here. You can go back and uncheck on categorize if you don't want it to show. Um, so right now I'm going to teach you how to achieve this content slider. Go to customize. And um, you want to go to general and look for slider. Click on enable. If you want, um, select the number of posts that you want to display because I only have two posts on my website. I'm only going to select two. Then scroll down. I don't want to display it as category ID. I don't want to display the categories, I want to display particular post. If you want to display all the posts in a category on the content slider, just look for the category ID. But I want to show um the, I want to select the post that I want to appear on the content slider. So I'm gonna go down and select the post ID. Now I'm gonna show you how to check out a post ID. I'll search for the post ID, so I'm just going to go back, um, open another page for the website. To check a post ID, go to dashboard, click on post, all post, and then this is the um, ID for each post. So I have seven and four. I'm going to delete um, this other word because I don't need it. Okay, so I have seven as a category ID for how to fix it, and I have four for the category ID of how to hide post on the front page. So I'm going to go back and then I'm going to put seven and four for my category ID, and then I click on save and publish. So now I have the content slider on my website. See? Alright, thank you for watching. I'm going to show you more on how to customize this website 